I'm Jay Stone. Welcome to another episode of my show at rockmetaltalk.com. Don't forget to check me out on granitecoastentertainment.com and maximumthreshold.net. Whenever I'm on there, check the site because that's what it be. It be what it be, and that's what it be. So what you heard right there was Tid, T-I-D, Time is Divine, they're from Sweden, and if you can guess what part, what band they've actually been in, you know, you'll figure it out, so it's one of my favorites that a lot of people don't like, so I'm already getting hit up here, oh, that's some bullshit, but um, it's been an eventful week, I went to the Sister Kill Cycle show with Together in Exile and Sunshine and Bullets, man, 
all at the sandbar in Newport Ritchie. All the bands were fucking great. Um, Sunshine and Bullets, first time seeing them. I know they're very popular. Um, very good band. Uh, the sound was great. Evan from Burning Favorona is the sound man that uh, Raven hires. And, you know, he does sound. And I guess he's a local recording engineer. And, and of course, he's in Burning Favorona. But um, it sounded great. Um, there was one little hiccup with a bad cable in the mic when Sister Kill Cycle came on. But that type of shit happens. So they... You know, they always make it through the show. He put on a great set, a lot of energy. Raven's, a you know, a good guy. Picked up uh, Together in Exile. I didn't have enough money after drinking a few drinks to buy all the CDs there and shit because I think Sunshine and Bullets had two of them. So I, I bought, I had like 14 bucks left after fucking drinking some Jack and Coke. You know how that goes. And... uh I bought it because I know Danny. Danny was the engineer on a song me and Raven from Sister Kill Cycle did together. So, um, And I've been meaning to pick up there. So, of course, I, I had to pick it up first. So the next time I see Sunshine and Bullets, which, which, of course, I'm more active in going back out to shows now because I don't have a schedule where I'm working nights and weekends all the time. I mean, I work late, but I've been making it through getting home at 1 o'clock, 1.30, and getting up at 4.30 to leave. So... It hasn't really been that bad for me, but, you know, as long as I get my my beauty sleep for an hour or so before I head out, I should be all right. So you'll see me out there at more events, um, Best of the Bay nominations and voting coming up. So the nominations are already in, so we're probably down for that. But we're going to play some brand new music by the Barbed Wire Dolls. Um, their promotion company sent that over. We're going to play, play some Magna Carta Cartel. We'll talk about Peter Frampton and the video I seen of him for his Chris Cornell tribute. But really, the show was great. Um, the sound, uh, the sandbar is pretty cool. I wasn't expecting it, you know, to be a little rock and roll joint. I really didn't know what to expect. But um, it was good. I enjoyed it. You can actually go in the bathroom and tolerate, you know, you know piss and stuff. So it's a, it's a nice place. The bartenders are friendly. Um, the drinks were good. They were fair priced. Um, eight bucks to get in to see some local, national, you know, some of these bands, you know, like Sister Kill Cycle have done their dues touring, Sunshine and Bullets. Together in Exile, we got some of the guys are in Solidium, so they're familiar with touring pretty heavy. And, um, you know, they're going out on tour with future leaders of the world, if you remember those guys. So they're still around. They got a music company, and they're working together, I guess, with Together in Exile. So that's awesome. Um, you know, I, I've been friends with those guys. So it's good to get out there and see them. And uh, the CD is fucking phenomenal. It's called Destroy Something Beautiful. Um, a few bands have, have touched on that name and stuff like that, but that, you know, if that's something you're thinking there and may stop you from, you know, by the CD is fucking phenomenal. It's 10 bucks. I think you can actually get it through future leaders of the world as well. But uh, we, they're the featured artists this week together in exile. And we're going to play three tracks from them. And I, and I think you're going to like it. The lead singer was in Marion Crane. And I do believe they were on my show back in the day. I'm, I was trying to look through the archives. I know. I know I've definitely played their music before, whether I featured it like this or not. I don't know. But I know I definitely worked with those guys in the past year, years ago, probably when I first started the radio show or somewhere within the first few years. But, uh, yeah, it was definitely a great show. Uh, Sister Kill Cycle is playing at Venom in Port Ritchie, another venue, local venue I've never been to. And it's good that I'm getting out there and seeing these places because now – I know I can go up there and check out some local bands and find some local talent from here. I'm going to start demoing some new material as well, so maybe I can run into a few musicians that might that might want to help out with that on top of probably uh, getting the record company back up in some small capacity and actually uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll license the music from the band for so many CDs or vinyl prints and... Um, They'll get their payment or whatever up front, and then, you know, I'll distribute the Grindstone Records version of their CD or whatnot. So we'll f I'll figure something out. Um, me and Raven have something brewing that we might work on. So we talk very little about it because he was busy and stuff like that. But you know, you know how that goes. So 
We'll probably develop that. It might take a little bit of time, but I think you'll enjoy what we're thinking about doing and stuff. Uh, he's got some great ideas, so we're gonna we're gonna play a couple of more things here. But barbed wire dolls, you know, they're on the Warp tour. So uh, you know, I always like to talk about the the bands that work for the PR companies that I deal with. So their their new CD is out, so you can go get it. Um, they sent me a couple other CDs as well, but I figured I'd feature this one first because I had to you know you know talk about it anyway. And uh, I'm playing brand new the Erotics, man. Mike Trash is one of the hardest working guys out there, man. Um, he's fucking funny. He writes good, catchy tunes. So we're going to play a track off his brand new CD as well that's being released. It, the track I'm going to play is called Horrified. Not Horrified. I'm not saying it wrong. Horrified. Like a whore. So uh, he's always got interesting, interesting things to say. Um, he's always got interesting music. He's always, you know, sending me stuff and he's always remembering me. And that's a good thing because someone that's been in the music business that long and can remember to, you know, send Jay Stone his tracks. You know, he doesn't have to send me shit. No band really ever has to send me shit. So I'm thankful there. I have so much fucking music. It's ridiculous. Clawhammer must probably be the best, um, the best promotion company out there, man, because those guys push a lot of stuff. And I know Ricky plays a lot of stuff from them. I mean, Prickly Rickly. He plays a lot of this stuff. I don't like how my peas are popping today, so I might have to rub my nuts on. Oh, I'm dealing with the IRS. I got shit at the storage unit. I got some health issues, but um, the fucking IRS, man, I don't want to really say anything bad about them because I don't need anybody on my case. But Jesus Christ, I sent the payment on April 16th, and and it was processed under the wrong fucking social security number, but I, man, it's, it's my wife. I mean, come on, you can't correct this shit. I mean, give me a break. And then, and then I'm trying to load my truck from the storage, man. They got a trailer parked in between my truck and a fucking camper. Now, if I have to back in, I can't see the guy's trailer. I can't pull all the way into my spot. I got a car blocking me in. So I can't fucking unload a load or move the truck to get to my unit so what if what if i had to get my truck out of there and i wasn't just there loading i i ain't got time for that bullshit man i fucking flew off the handle and i'm trying to stay relaxed man because my anxiety has been through the fucking roof oh we're starting over at show one i ate a fucking whole fucking cake my fat ass from Publix. god my, my wife had one piece that's what I ate all day. A sandwich and fucking cake. I gotta, you know, I'm like a squirrel. I'm saving it for the fucking winter in my cheeks. But that opening track was uh, Time is Divide. So, you know, the Magna Carta Cartel. Um, I, I love these off-the-wall bands. There's this band, Demon Head, man, that's really good. Um, I'm probably going to see a band called He Is Legend at the Crowbar next week. So I'm actively out there, man. Um, we gave away two pins today, uh, two promo packs, I should say, with a magnet, two decals, and um, a pin. And, you know, it was fun. I, I enjoyed doing it, even though it only took a couple of minutes. I, all the people that shared the post, I wrote their name down. I cut the papers up and threw them in a hat and pulled them randomly. I was only going to give one away. I gave two away. So Melinda Armstrong was one winner and AM Smash was the other. So congratulations. I think I have AM's address already because he's dealt with me in the past. But I, I may even have Melinda's. But, um, you know, because these are people who support the show. And that's, you know, that's why I do these little things. It's not just to make money either. It's to get people excited about the show and the website and listening to the other show, The Plot Hole, which, I, which I've been working on trying to get a fucking answer from the guy at Granite Coast. But um, apparently, you know, it, it's difficult to send it all, you know, take a quick listen and get back to me. But, you know, it is what it is, man. I don't have a lot of time either, so I understand. But, you know, I do a lot of shit for radio, so I'm not, you know, trying to be a jerk or anything, but. I, I've, you know, I just want to see my boys excel with their show and get more people interested in what we're doing and what Granite Coast Entertainment's doing. They're they they they're into promoting, so it's only going to help us all. So that's what I was thinking there, and I.